Well, hello there, party people. We're doing our Christmas haul video of everything we procured and absconded with on the holidays. So, let's go ahead and get started with you. Okay. Well, Sam got me this. It's a marshmallow roaster. Yep, s'more maker. It's got like a little trayer on the outside for like all the yeah. graham crackers and, and all of the chocolate the and marshmallows and stuff. And Plug it, it in. comes with the marshmallow holders. Yeah. So. And if you know Madison, she loves s'mores. That's her jam. So. I haven't had s'mores in a long time. It's a really so. cool little kit, and so we'll be able to. It's something we can do, um, you know, on like these cold winter nights without having to make a fire. Um, we'll still be able to make some s'mores, just have like a fun dessert with one of our dinners. So, yeah. Me? Yep. I got the lawnmower. <laughs> it's designed for groin grooming, and I like that. Manscaped. So, I'm really excited about this. I like cleanliness and whatnot, and I like to stay uh, clean. So, even with the beard. So. That was for me. Yeah, that was from her. So, thank you very much. Um, I'll go with the stocking stuffers I got from my mom. My parents are divorced, so you know how it is. If you, if you know, you know. I got Golden Girls Mad Libs. I love the Golden Girls a lot. I got some Nerds candy. A giant Santa hat kiss Hershey's kiss some Ferrero Rocher's a nerd's rope and a mini Nutella jar so cool I think that's yeah. like the coolest little thing yeah it'll take me 400 years to get through all this candy because we just don't eat sugar very often so yeah. and then um yeah, I also come from a little bit of a broken home. I lost my dad when I was uh, 21 to cancer, so I have my mom still, and she loves to take care of me, and she does an excellent job at it. I love her very much. Uh, but she got me this Amazon gift card just so I could pick out what I wanted, and I really liked it because it, like, folds open into this, like, really cool like, little Christmas tree. You can kind of watch it. Um, but, yeah, so far I've used uh, 25 of it on um, a really cool uh, cell phone game I played called Mech Arena. I don't know if any of you guys have heard it or play it, but it's an amazing game. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, and I'm going to use the other 75. I think I'm kind of want to get one of those devices that has the camera for your cell phone and you can um, clean your ears out with it. Um, as weird as that is, but I have bad allergies and I think it would be really helpful for me and my hygiene again. So yeah, I'm getting like multiple hygiene things. I'm getting, um, I really enjoy that. So i um, got a little corgi leaning against my back. Oh, she's making her appearance. Here she is. What's up, Papa? Hey. This is the Izzy. She's the greatest gift of all. And, um, but yeah. Go ahead. You're next. Um, okay, well, since we're going with the gift card. So, we each got our own gift card from his mom. And I got myself an air fryer. That's yeah. the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> we're excited to put, like tater tots, anytizers, wings, like fries, like all kinds of like more healthy options for us um, yeah. and stuff like that. So that's kind of like what we've been shifting towards. I don't know if you guys have noticed in the videos over the last several months, but we've been sh trying to shift more and more towards healthy stuff, working out and um, portion control and all that kind of stuff. She's okay. She's pushing against me. She's pushing against both of us. Oh, yeah. oh we're making grumble noises, huh? Um, and then the next thing that I got um, was actually this starry sky galaxy um, led light projector um, i really like oh man that ring light is there we go go from the side a little bit um but it i really like like lights and things that illuminate the room and change the colors and stuff like that i like to listen to music and um put on some like multicolored uh lights um and it really helps with my inspiration of like writing and stuff like that i can kind of just uh let my mind wander and really daydream really deeply. So I enjoy it. I've been doing it since high school. I love it. I like multicolored lights. So right, you're next. Um, I'll do a couple because some of them are small. So. Oh yeah. So Sam, for my stocking, got me a bunch of stuff here. Sorry if you can hear the nosy corgi. She's sniffing. She's sniffing. She's doing some sniffing. She's doing some sniffing. 
All right. So I got this little baby Yoda. Funny story, I actually found it before Christmas, but it's fine. We were looking for a hammer and it was in my nightstand drawer and she went looking in there for a hammer and she found a cute little Grogu instead. Yeah. And then he got me some hair ties because I always need hair ties. Yeah. And then some nose strips. There's a selfish motivation in there. I'm going to want to do those with her. Yeah. And then some of these cream filled wafers. Oh man, those pure Amazing. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever had those before, but the hazelnut chocolate ones are fire. And then a bunch of paintbrushes. I uh, do a lot of painting, so I'm, as I paint, my paintbrushes tend to get used a lot. Yeah, so. A lot, a lot. He got me some new ones, and I'm thankful for that. So. Yeah. Was that all that you. Oh, a scarf. He got me a scarf, too. I knew I was missing something. Is that the new one? Yeah. yeah. It's just, I already have one, so we have to take it back, but it is just fluffy and it's an infinity scarf. And if you know me, you know I'm stubborn and won't put something on until it's cold, until I'm visibly freezing, so. I always try to buy her comfy stuff to wear to keep her warm because she's resistant. Yeah, I don't like to be bundled up. Yeah. Um. I don't really like acrylic hats very much. I don't like the way they feel on my skin. And I think I have a slight allergic reaction to them and make my skin more dry than they should be. Um, so I've been complaining because you can't find cotton hats anywhere. Um, but Madison is actually able to find me a couple, um, I guess, at the Hat Depot. Yep. It's the name of the company. Amazon. Um, so I got a black one and a blue one. Um, she was debating on getting a white one. I'm pretty prone to staining things. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that she decided against that. She obviously knows me pretty well. Um, so yeah, I got these two hats. Um, that's really, really cool. I'm excited about that one. What do you got there? Oh yeah. Um, I also got this really cool dinosaur pen. He's got a little stegosaurus on there. I don't know if you can see him very well. He's rubbery and really cute. He's got <laughs> really big eyes. Hey, no. But yeah. You know me, I like dinosaurs, and I'm a writer. So I got a pen I can write with a dinosaur. Michael Crichton would be happy, Jurassic Park. <clears throat> Sorry, Corgi wants to play with the ball. She always wants to play with the ball. She's very athletic and energetic. So on my list, I have a KitchenAid mixer and a hand mixer. Where I'm hoping to start doing some baking in the future. And you need these for that. Sam bakes too, but... Yeah, we go on. We're trying to get more geared again towards like cooking and eating at home more. Um, it's more cost effective. We can kind of control a little bit more what's going into our body, less processed stuff, less preservatives, all that jazz. Yep. All right. So this is kind of like the big one that I'm real excited about: Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword. This is one of the few Legend of Zelda games I have not played, so I'm really excited. I remember when it came out. Um, I was in like in a position in my life to be able to buy it um, and get it and they kind of like passed me by and it's always one I've been like sad about um, but now they re completely redid it on uh, the GameCube excuse me the Switch not the he GameCube. just aged himself I did the GameCube <laughs> I played that a lot so uh, but no on the Switch and so it's, it was from the GameCube initially I think is what it was initially on so um, but yeah so I'll crack into this I'll be, I'll be trying to do a review of it let you guys know what I think of it for sure all right this is awesome so like I said, I love the Golden Girls, and my mom got me this blanket. I'm not gonna completely unfold it, but I'll show you all four sides. So it's like a fleece blanket, and they're like pop art, which is interesting, because I do pop art. And it's small, but it's soft, and I'm obsessed with it, so. I love blankets. I think my mom has gotten me a blanket almost every year, so. There's that. It's soft, it hasn't been washed yet. Don't know when it's gonna get washed because it'll lose its fluff, so. There we go. I got beef jerky. <laughs> this Bridgeford beef jerky from Walmart, I mean, if you have not had this beef jerky, if, if you like beef jerky, this beef jerky is Amazing. serious. It's so good, so I didn't yeah. know it was open. Hey. <laughs> hey, little Miss Sniffer, get out of there. Oh, man. So our roommate 
Zach, shout out to you, got me this coloring book. And it's actually like a small artist made it. It's like a small business. It's really, I'll show you one of the... It was found on Instagram. Yeah, he found it on Instagram. I'll put her, uh, I'll put her Instagram in the description. But like, here's an example of that. I don't know if you can see it very well, but. Oh yeah. So it's very detailed and cool. And I like to color. I like art, so very cool. And then Sam, I'm always cold, no matter what I'm wearing, what blanket I have. So Sam got me this, it's like a heated throw. It's not even like a full blanket. Come over here, Izzy, come here. Come here. So yeah, I've used it once. It's, it's warm, I like it, so. And right now we're using this, but I brought the box out. I've been asking for a ring light for quite some time. If you can't tell, it look a little more illuminated, I'm sure. You can tell a little bit more of the detail and whatnot, so. Uh, I like to make TikToks, so. Also use it for that. Yeah. Got multi-uses on it, so. We're gonna be, try to become multimedia internet stars. We're building up all of our tools and our arsenal to do it, so. Yeah. Slowly but surely. Yep, we're getting there. Madison's grandparents got me this amazing maroon like warm, like kind of like sweatshirt. It's made of like a, almost like a long john material. It's like really thick, but soft at the same time um, from Banana Republic. So I'm real excited about that, be able to wear that. So always like new long sleeves, especially like in the, in the winter time when it's all cold. My grandparents also got me a maroon Yeah, I got matching hoodie. colors. It's like, a, it's like a turtleneck, but it's like hoodie material. Yeah. So really nice. Um, you might see it on the Christmas cards next year. Who knows? That's true. Already matching colors. Already set up for outfits. I'll do a couple more. Uh, in my stocking at my dad's, Santa gave me this variety of puzzles. I'm, I just like to work my brain a lot, so it's good for, there's like crossword puzzles and pictures and All a lot kinds of fun of puzzles. So. Yeah, lots of puzzles. I also got the Apple Pencil, so that's going to help a lot with my digital art, so. Also like editing, and we're going to maybe like try to like do like a logo and stuff like that for the show and try to kind of like up our game a little bit. So yeah. this is a good Christmas for upping our game. We already got a couple new tools, so it's yeah. really exciting. Um, and then I also got these jelly beans. Jelly Belly Kids Mix. Oh, be right back. I got one upstairs. Not all the way upstairs. I got, oh, she's up going up there. I like, to, I like to grow things like plants a lot in nature and stuff like that. And I got this like little grass growing kit and so it's really cool. I'm gonna grow some grass in this um, and then potentially um, at some point maybe when that the grass is gone, I'll like probably transfer like a succulent or a, my cactus into this. This is a cool little pot. So I really like that a lot, it's really neat. It's kind of a mix of my mom's and my dad's stockings, but so this is a face mask. It's very bright, so you can't really see it. Tea tree. We're obsessed with candles, so we well, I am. Candles. But we love candles. This one's Merry Maple Pancakes. Mm. Smells amazing. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. it smells so good. It's got like a really like sweet like uh, maple syrupy smell to it. It's great. Some more. Of these some of the hair bands hair bands everybody knows that she's got like really thick hair and she snaps hair bands all the time so she's got like <laughs> thick heavy hair so we like have to constantly keep her supplied and i won't cut it because i love it and then this is from trader joe's it's a cranberry pine candle also smells really good give me another smell mm. yep oh man that's nice it smells like a really nice cologne almost and then i got these also these are uh bath bombs they're naturally made um at the shaman shop in burlington i will also link their social media down below if you're interested small business support ones for like sleep for like relaxing and ones for it's almond buttercream so i don't really know exactly what it's for probably to just smell good and feel good make your make your skin soft he likes to take baths and i 
like to let him use my things. So. And then um, this is just a sinus relief one from the shaman shop as well. Uh, we fight allergies a lot, so when we take a shower, we can throw it in there, and it'll provide us with some sinus relief when necessary. So. Oh my goodness. Corgi love break. <laughs> All right. One of my stocking stuffers, another one that I got, was a Pez dispenser. He's a super cool nutcracker. I really like nutcrackers a lot. My grandma Suzanne got me hooked on them when I was little because she liked to collect them too. I always thought that they're really cool. So I started collecting them. So now I have a, a Pez, Pez dispenser one. They can go with our Christmas, uh, decor. Our Christmas decor and you can be set out and look really cool. So I'm excited about that. All right, I'll do a couple more. So my grandparents also got me these leggings. If you know me, you know that I like leggings. I like to be comfortable. And these are heavy, so hopefully they'll keep me warm. Um, and then my grandpa, he actually made this cross out of wood and stuff like that. Um, really cool, really I come from an artistic family, obviously. Yeah, very so. creative. Um, I'll do one more. And then I also got this painting apron from my dad. Um, you know, I do a lot of painting, so necessary to wear that. Just so you know. Keep the paint off your clothes. Got some handy pockets in the front for paint yeah. brushes and tools. Paint, whatever. Your yeah. hands. Yeah. <laughs> so our friend David. David. His wife is a scentsy person, um, and so she um, got all kinds of scentsy stuff, and so we ended up getting something from them for Christmas. And this is the warmer right here that we picked out. There's little, when you plug it in, there's a... Like a design on the outside. You can't really see it, but it, it looks like a spring design, a uh, cast pink There's with like, spring pack. Um, and it makes some um, uh, really cool like butterflies and stuff like that. It's like a, and it's so, a wax melter if you don't know what yeah, Scentsy is. that's what but, Scentsy is, yeah. Right? So, yeah. So you can kind of see the design on the inside. You can see the butterflies and stuff like that, but, so. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we're really excited Percenti about that. that. We'll be able to, because we like candles and incense and um, all the various stuff that helps the house uh, keep it smelling good and fresh and stuff like that. Um, and so, ooh, this might actually have some wax things in there. It feels like kind of heavy. So, but yeah, that was another thing that we got from the, the Wassing family. So thank you very much, you guys. We really appreciate that. It's very sweet of you. Hopefully you guys like enjoy the gifts that we gave you as well. Let me finish and then you can show your last one yeah okay cool all right so i also from my dad i got this wood burning kit um wood burning wood burning is just something that uh when i when i was younger i had a wood burning kit uh some unforeseen circumstances took that wood burning kit away from me it's fine so I got this really cool, awesome one that I can learn how to wood burn with and hopefully achieve my goals of starting an Etsy shop and working for myself. So, um, and last but not least, oh, I also got a charger cord. It's over there. I don't want to go get it. But. It's a charger cord. Uh, this is like an art bag. I got this from my dad as well. It's pretty sweet. Um, I have one, but it's full of other things. So this one's more like a travel one. Uh, there's like pockets and these separators that separators. Velcro into place. Um, so yeah, bag. It's like that. it's cool. Yeah. So I would say I made out pretty good on this Christmas. I think we both did. So. For sure. And he has one more thing. <clears throat> there's two things about me. I love Star Wars and Legos. Legos. So, my roommate had the divine wisdom of getting me this Boba Fett helmet, and it's really cool. It even has like the little uh, thermal visor thing that slides down and stuff in front of his face. It's part of the 40th Empire Strikes Back uh, anniversary set. And so you can kind of see, come up, like the back of it, see kind of like what's going on there, get around 
that ring light a little bit. There we go. Turn away from that glare. But yeah, so that's really fun. I'm like really excited to put that together. It's 625 pieces. Um, so this should I probably take me probably like an hour or two, I guess. I'm gonna probably crack into that here in a couple weeks. Start getting some of that cabin fever and I'm sick of video games. That's like number one thing I'm gonna crack into and put it up on the mantle of the rest of my collectibles and that'd be really cool. So and then we got... An, this was the first present of Christmas yep. from Sam's mom. Yep, we got this amazing advent calendar. It's a Lego Avengers. Again, I like, if you know anything about me, I like Avengers, Marvel, um, and then Lego as well. Um, and it was super fun. Um, there was like Spider-Man in there, Thanos, Black Widow, the Iron Thanos's Man. The Thanos' glove? Yeah, Thanos' gloves in there. Um, there's also like a separate like glove that like the Infinity Gems go in and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, just a whole bunch of like little props too, like little tables with uh, burgers and like grills, wrapping, wrapping present uh, areas. Like it was really extensive, a Christmas tree you can see right here. Um, and so it was really fun too to like wake up every day and have something to look forward to and like build like a little Lego. Um, and we're just gonna add it right into the um, the Christmas decor. We're not gonna get rid of the box or anything. We're just gonna keep the whole thing um, and set it up. This. Yeah, it sets up like um, the Avengers Tower um, and like they, it's okay. And then like we set up like a little like Christmas scene rink right here. Yep. Um, but we'll probably pop them all back into the windows um, and then like um, just randomly like open them up and then like keep using it and stuff like that year after year. So that was a really cool gift. Thank you, Mom. We really appreciate that. It's lovely. Amazing. All right, well. Since we mentioned Marvel, I forgot we were going to do a Spider-Man No Way Home review. That's true. We are. Um, we are. Good segue. Full disclosure, I didn't see any of the Spider-Mans except for the ones with Tom Holland yeah. before we went and saw this movie. So, so and I didn't realize that. And then day <laughs> of, um, I, I, she he asked came me. clean. He, no, he asked me. <laughs> she hadn't seen any of the Tobey Maguire movies, one, two, three, um, directed by Sam Raimi also, who's one of my favorite directors. He directed uh, Evil Dead and Drag Me Down and um, uh, just a ton of other stuff, um, a bunch of TV series and stuff like that too. Um, amazing director um, from Michigan, like me. So, um, but anyways, so um, we ended up watching the movie and then we came back and we got through the first two Tobey Maguire movies. Um, we haven't gotten the third one yet with like um, Topher Grace and um, Thomas Hayden Church and all those other kind of actors and stuff like that. So there was a lot of tie-ins um, when we went and saw No Way Home that she wasn't like really privy to. She didn't get some of like the inside jokes and stuff. A lot of the other ones though that she did, um, like the internet meme that they recreated of like the, the three Spider-Men like, pointing at yeah. each other and all that kind of stuff. Definitely caught those. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're getting her educated up um, and watching all the Spider-Man movies. But No Way Home, um, it's kind of been cool to do us a, a review as somebody who's been watching the franchise like from the very beginning of like you know 2002 when the first one came out um and then someone who's only been watching like some of the more recent um movies and stuff like that and getting her review um so my review um coming up on all the franchises and watching it being a little kid reading spider-man comics um in the 80s there was also um a spider-man cartoon i was telling her about when we were going to see the movie called spider-man and friends and i had like a girl named firestar and another character i can't remember very much of it it was on when i was like five or six i was really young so that's when i really started liking spider-man um and so then as it progressed up and toby mcguire's movies came out i was working at blockbuster in the time and stuff like that and i remember we had like a life-size uh statue of uh spider-man it was like the same height as me and stuff like that it was really cool um, and so, but watching all three movies, I saw all of them in theaters and I really enjoyed them, um, loved them. Uh, they set the tone. Um, you know, Sam Raimi's got his own very unique, like, filming style and, like, slapstick comedy and stuff like that. It goes really well with the, the action and things like that. I think it's Spider-Man, so it was really well done. He was always got a nice pace to him. Um, and then moving on to, um, Andrew Garfield's. Um, movies, um, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, and I'm hearing that they actually may make a third one with him. I've been seeing a lot of articles about that. Yeah, it um, said that, like, No Way Home, like, brought him back. Yeah, it relaunched it. Yeah. Um, and so what's really interesting, too, is because then they're talking about bringing Emma Stone back as Gwen Stacy, um, which will be really cool because they're actually going to make her Spider-Gwen. Um, so we've seen Gwen Stacy before in the franchise, but not as Spider-Gwen, except in, for um, Into the Spider-Verse animated um, movie. But that kind of like is a standalone, like special, amazing. So, <clears throat> but then um, to see No Way Home and have all these actors come together and these franchises and concepts and, and villains and uh, characters and other actors and things like that is such a culmination 
of you know just about 20 years of like spider-man movies and media and, and you know just jokes and all kinds of stuff um and it's been good too because like when the first three spider-man came out like the internet really wasn't anything what it is now like there definitely wasn't facebook and instagram and memes you know memes have come out since then um and so it was really cool that they were able to keep it topical and relevant to everything that's going on now and the advancements of memes and internet and whatnot um but also uh kind of uh, catering to our needs of, of being able to connect to the first franchise that introduced all of us and so many people that weren't familiar with the comic books and, and didn't grow up like with my influences the cartoons and stuff like that to spider-man and stan lee and marvel and so much and so it was kind of like a just an unwrapping of like a great giant christmas gift that's 20 years in the making so i really enjoyed it i really liked it um the action sequences were excellent uh the acting was really good great comedy good comic relief um, an unpredictable storyline, got to see the Sinister Six and a, a feasible uh, encounter. Um, it was just so well done. Please go and see it. They've already made like a billion dollars. It's like one of Sony's most profitable movies so far. Um, definitely go see it. It was really well done. Um, I was just thoroughly impressed uh, by everything. The script, um, just everything. It was really well done. I was blown away. Um, quite easily one of the best Marvel movies I've ever seen. Right up there, like on scope and, and engage with um, Infinity War, End Game, like all that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, what did you think of it? Uh, well, I won't be going into as much detail as him because I don't have that much detail to go into. But I don't know. I thought it was really good. I thought it was funny, and I thought they like incorporated all the jokes really well. And I really like Doctor Strange a lot, and I like how he was incorporated, like just how they incorporated him into the movie. So that worked out. I just thought it was funny and I sometimes during movies I'm like how long is left because I'm done because I'm really bad at sitting and watching movies I don't know why I just am but like the whole time I was sitting there like excited for the next part I did get to a point where I was like at what point are we going to introduce the other two Spider-Men because we were like an hour know, and a half like in. an hour and a half in yeah it's like he, it's like the last like last like half of the movie um, is when they finally show up. It's great. And so when that, I, I just, I don't know. I just, I was really excited to see it. I want to go see it again. He says, I'm not allowed to go see it again until I watch all the other Spider-Man movies. Because I'll add so many layers. So then I'll, I'll understand so more. Yeah. Um, I really love Tom Holland as an actor and Zendaya as an actress. I've watched her since she was on Disney Channel. So like, if you know, you know, but yeah, I thought it was really good. Really funny. I, I'm enjoying all the memes and understanding all the memes and learning about Marvel. So I am excited for the next Doctor Strange movie Mulder because I Max. also really like um, Scarlet Witch. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. is Wanda. one of my favorites for sure. She's very so. powerful. But yeah, I'm excited for what spy or what Marvel's going to bring to us. Um, the next phase is very intriguing. They've if got all these. They because you saw a review. We saw uh, Shang Chi, uh, which was incredible. That was so good. So, uh, a really great character that's coming into the into the fold now. Um, I'm really curious to see. And she was asking me about that, like in the multiverse mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, what's he gonna do? And I was like, uh, he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with once he gets a little bit more adept and like trained with his powers and stuff. Um, especially like if he. I don't want to say anything else about the movie. I don't want to ruin anything or any spoilers. I'm sorry. I'm glad I stopped right where I did. But yeah, hopefully he's able to kind of like bust out some more of his abilities. Um, and so, yeah, I'm curious to see um, what other characters are going to come in. Um, I, I think we're seeing some of the other characters in like the new Hawkeye series. We haven't watched that yet. Um, but like Wanda's actually on, on obviously in it. Um, maybe Vision's coming back. Um, all that other kind of stuff. And so... Um, with uh, Kang coming out, we saw in Loki, um, we've really got a lot um, culminating um, in the Marvel Universe. So I was really curious to kind of see like where that's all going to go. And I just, two things. One, if you haven't gotten seen Spider-Man yet, go watch it. But there's two end scenes. And when, when we they... were watching it, we had, there was like crowds leaving when the credits started. The only reason I can explain that, and I looked over and I said to her, I was like, those people must have already seen them. That's the only oh, reason yeah, why maybe, you would maybe, leave. Maybe. I mean, that's the only reason why you would leave. Like, have you never met a Marvel movie before? Has anybody told Come you? On, did somebody tell you? <laughs> Come on, people. Yeah, I don't know. Did you watch a spoiler somewhere on like a, a dirty website? You dirty jerk. Um, anyways, but... But also, 
I just recently watched all the Marvel movies in order. Mm -hmm. She's all caught up now. My education of the Marvel movies before I met Sam was not very good. So. I didn't realize she didn't even get to see the Spider-Man movies too. We should have just watched those in sequence with the rest of them. Um, we still have the X-Men movies to get through. Um, I might have her watch the first Ghost Rider movie because there's talks of Norman Reedus, uh, who's in Walking Dead, um, of him actually coming back um, and, and being Ghost Rider um, instead of Nicolas Cage. Which is unusual because Nicolas Cage is really tied to that franchise. Like I think he like was like one of the producers and stuff like that of like the first or the second movie, and so that he's stepping away from the project and they're getting somebody else new in there is interesting. So, um, but folks, that's all we got for you this week. We yep. wanted to do the the haul and then we wanted to do a little movie review and some Marvel talk with you, kind of catch up everybody. Um, but outside of that, that's it. Um, hopefully, you guys all had a great holiday season. Yule, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Christmas, whatever you guys celebrate, it's a beautiful thing. Hopefully you were able to spend some time with your loved ones and find some unity. Um, I know we did. We had a really great time. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, telling your friends about us, all that kind of jazz. Feel free to leave us a comment. Let us know you say hi. We always appreciate it. It puts a big smile on our face. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a great night. Be well.